Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Good morning, John. How are you? Hey, Art. Good to see you. You know what today is? It's time to join Bill Jordan, our favorite. I call him my baby boom <laughs> philosopher. Hey, Bill. How are you doing? Oh, shucks. Doing great, guys. Hope you are. Bill, uh, good. Uh, Bill, do you think of yourself as a philosopher? No, but you've, you've gotten me wondering about that. You know, I, we've talked about this before. If you had told me when I was in high school or college that philosophy would be something that I would adopt and really uh, embrace, uh, as I got a little older, I would laugh at you because Bill Cosby did that famous thing about philosophy class. What's that about? Sitting around talking about why is there air? So, but philosophy is something I really, I, I really wish I'd grabbed onto when I was a teenager even. I think it just helps me live a better life. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, so you, you can said, call me a philosopher. It's quite a, that's, that's a compliment to me. So thank you if you see me that way. You said you like to embrace philosophy. Dare I bring up the subject of embracing the boom? Oh, well, let's all Ta-da! Embrace. Ta-da! <laughs> that's so it. Bill, Bill uh, I know because we follow each other on um, Facebook and all that kind of stuff. I know that your wife had a, a bad ankle accident, broken ankle, and now you're talking about going to the doctors for a possible surgery. You know, you've been, whether you need it or not, I haven't gotten right. all the latest. But more importantly, it made me realize that as we get older, you know, this stuff happens. Um, it, it, a broken right. ankle could happen at any age, I suppose. But you know, we get older and our bodies are eventually, we hope not for another 30 years, start shutting down. Things happen. Accidents happen. Right. And we really need to take care of each other. Now, we're the three of us. We're right. all married and um, we have spouses that we can take care of and that can take care of us. We have children, but not everybody does. And I think um, taking care of each other as we get older is really important different than taking care of yourself. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know how well I take, would take care of myself, but as far as with my wife, she's had a, I mean, 2020, I mean, regardless of the COVID-19, just because the virus hasn't really affected us directly, um, other than, you know, not being able to go places and we wear a mask everywhere, but as far as, it's not COVID that hit her but she's just had a really really rough year and of course when then when you're married you 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 share that i don't want to say burden but that challenge and so um but but really when i stop and think about it i'm glad that i'm here to help her and of course you know we take that vow seriously about in sickness and in health and for better and for worse so you just keep on plugging and we get through it so every day the way we talk about it is she's one day closer to to being able to walk on that ankle again without a boot and without a walker or a wheelchair and then there's some other uh, physical issues going on, too, that are causing her great distress. So, again, one day closer to being as good as you can feel. So I, I'm just I'm just here to help her out. And I and because also, one, I want to. Two, I know she would do it for me. Well, yeah, I was going to I was going to interrupt. I know how well you would take care of yourself. And uh, uh, Bill, you're in trouble because I've seen your shorts. I know. I've seen right. your shoes. Right. And I've seen your hats. I mean, you're right. a trifecta of you need somebody in your life. Right. <laughs> you know, well, and if I had to feed myself, I can eat I can eat peanut butter and jelly yeah. sandwiches over the sink every day of my life. <laughs> All I can say is thank God the three of us are married, really. <laughs> right. And we need to have them out we need to live a long and prosperous life and we need them to live at least a day longer. Yeah. <laughs> well, my here, here's the thing you're talking about, you know, fending for ourselves, but my wife gives me these little clues. I honestly don't, she does not understand, seriously, does not understand how I survived when I was single as far as like meals. Cause I'll tell her, it's like, you know, she's, she'll be up in bed or something. It's like, I'll bring you, you know, I can make you French toast and she'll say, We'll see. You know, I can grill you a steak. We'll see. That it's never like, yeah, that sounds good. It's always we'll see, and we'll see turns into going out to Bojangles or Chick Fil A or something like that and bringing it home. So, Bill, isn't it a fact that what women say about men is true that we're helpless? 
oft times, apparently, oft times, it can be. Yeah, I, I don't know about helpless, but it's nice to have the help. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think men are, this is my philosophy, men are really good at taking care of other people. Maybe not all men. Uh, but we don't take care of ourselves to the same degree. Uh, I'll agree with that. Okay. I mean, I think men will often tell others to get to the doctor, but we don't want to go to the doctor. Yeah. yeah. Except for Art. He takes care of himself really well. Well, so th this well I'm proud of Art. Uh, one, one of the things I do know for sure is, uh, um, and that's true, I do. <laughs> um, except for the major stuff, which I bring my wife along because she takes the notes and she asks the questions that I refuse to ask. And of course, that's what why I, I'm probably still alive today. With it, but she knows when to insist on going with it. But in any event, I think uh, uh, one of the things that you're illustrating here, Bill uh, and John, is that uh, as uh, we all uh, live longer, healthier lives, and we do uh, outlive our parents as a generation and our grandparents uh, certainly, that uh, we're going to be uh, winding up facing lots of different things that they never did because they didn't live long enough to get all the things that, that we can live long enough to get. But I think the important thing is that there are ways to take care of these things. So if you have a partner or if you have a designated uh, driver, so to say, if you, you're single, uh, whether it be your children or uh, whoever it happens to be, uh, then that's probably going to help us uh, uh, continue to live longer, healthier lives, and get through some of the stuff that our parents or grandparents haven't. Yeah, family, family right. is really important. Um, yeah. and and for those people without families, I think it's incumbent on upon their their neighbors and their friends to act like a family. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have a team around you. You know, you got to build that team around you. You do. It, it doesn't matter whether you're married or single. You're right. Correct. And of course, eventually, pretty much everybody's going to be single at one point. You know, we often outlive our spouses one way or the other, men, right. women, whatever. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, you know, it's just till death do we part, but not necessarily simultaneously. <laughs> that's unfortunately, <laughs> Correct. it'd be nice if that were true. That's Correct. the way I'd like to go. But right. anyway, Bill, before we go, I think it's it's only fair that we all share our embrace the boom philosophy, which is live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Talking about baby boomers, of course. Yes. Well, good for anybody. Yeah. But... yeah, anybody. Okay, well, this has been fun, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again uh, soon. Guys, always a pleasure to be with you, and I thank you again for helping me share the message. Spread the good news about embracing the boom. Yes, amen. See you soon, Bill. Thank you. See y'all. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.